Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wicked Wednesday, where I sit here and uh, drink alcohol with you. But here recently, we have added food to the mix, and today I would like to introduce two things. One being Vat Squatch. If you've seen any of my survival videos or anything like that, I like to make a lot of Sasquatch call type videos. This is a rogue Bat Squatch dedicated to the legend Hazy India Pale Ale, 12 fluid ounces, Dare Risk Dream. For years, rumors have circled that deep in the woods on Mount St. Helens lives the fabled Bat Squatch. While there are many tales of Bat Squatch, they're a small bit of hazy. Uh, they are all a bit hazy on the details which makes the truth such a juicy mystery. So what better way to honor the legend than with a hazy, juicy IPA, perfect for camping and potentially making a new friend. It actually has a pair you with white cheddar grilled salmon or strawberry shortcake, but today I am going to be pairing it with Dave Portney's One Bite. Everybody knows the rules. Pepperoni stone baked crust. The pepperoni stone baked crust pizza. That's a mouthful. But I missed out on something last week. My brother in law said something about it. And it bothered me too because it was the only one I forgot. I forgot to pour the beer last week. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure to pour this beer. It is out of. It says brewed by Rogue Ales, Newport, Oregon. Established in 1988. Good. You're cooking shit. It's going to hurt nothing. Just so everybody knows, uh, my beautiful wife is also cooking another Italian dish. Spaghetti with garlic bread. I will take back something I said a couple episodes ago about the alcohol percentage having something to do with the, the taste. So... In my original assumption, I thought that the taste was a bit less hoppy if you had a lower alcohol percentage. And it turns out that this beer is 6.7%. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've already drank some. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And this is a very blonde beer. This this is a very a very pretty beer. Look at that. That really is a very pretty golden beer. And while we let that settle, we're gonna crunch into this pizza, right? It's a pretty good crunch. What surprised me is the heat at which this pizza cooks 450 degree, degrees and it only cooks for 12 minutes. Surprising, surprising. All right. I will say one thing. I will say one thing. It looks amazingly cheesy. We are going to let it sit there a second while we taste this. Hazy India Pale L, which I guess, I mean, it does look hazy, doesn't it? It does. It has got an orange tint to it, but you can't see through it. I guess it does, yeah. Right? Ain't I guess that, it does, yeah. It looks, it, it looks like a hazy beer. Yeah. That's crazy. There. And I will say that I'm thoroughly enjoying these videos. And if you guys are, make sure to like, subscribe. Check out all my social links. I am enjoying how much I'm learning about alcohol and food. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing to say. I don't know. We're all sinners in some way. Now, I've said it once and I'll say it. Every single time I try one of these IPAs, they have a bite. And it is a acquired taste. I'm working my way up into double digits IPAs well before I started making these videos. I've been trying them out and trying different types of uh, beer. But this one being 6.7% is uh, to me seems like a very high number for this beer. 
you know, twelve ounce can. It makes me. It reminds me of my younger days and still reserve. If that's a good thing to be able to sit here and say, but the beer is very smooth. It says that it has a tropical citrus with a hint of pine and a hint of bitter and an even smaller hint of malt. So it is it is a very good beer and I would definitely recommend it. I've sat here and drank two or three of them and you can definitely tell it's a 6.7% alcohol beer. Two or three of them and you have, and if you feel good and I think it's going to add a really good detail to this pizza. This guy that's what he does. He reviews pizza. And he has made a pizza and I absolutely love pizza. And I want to give you the realest opinion on this pizza that I can. All right, look. I can deal with that. That's a good that it's got good form, holding together well, Olympic stature, you know. Okay. This is a very good piece of pizza. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good? This is an amazing piece of pizza. Oh, shit. Yeah, this has got... Go ahead. It has got like the exact amount of sauce. Nothing's falling off. Super cheesy. The pepperoni is thin. The edges of it got crusty. The cheese almost all turned brown. This is an amazing piece of pizza. I'm going to give this like a 9.5 out of 10. And I know he gave it a 9.9 9 in his video. I'd say this is probably one of the one of the better frozen pizzas that I've had. It's really good. Alright, now here's the test. Mmm. That's a good piece of pizza. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna wash it down. With some of this bat squash. If I wasn't sitting in my apartment right now, I would do the Sasquatch call for you. <laughs> I've done it in several states at this point. We drove down to Panama City over the summer, had vacation. And I've done it in every state on the way there. On the way back. I hit every state one way or the other. Here's the test. It doesn't stink either. It's a really good, I'd say this is overall good beer. This has been a good, this is a good experience, both these being really good. Man, it just goes really well together. Hey, uh, Bat Squatch, make sure you put pizza right there under strawberry shortcake. Because it definitely goes well together. I'm going to go ahead and recommend both. You guys should try them. Really good. You got any questions or comments? Make sure to hit it up in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get you a link on this pizza. I doubt I can get you a link on beer unless somebody was to sponsor me. I can't get you a link on that. You just have to go find it and try it yourself. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all the social links. We've got a Patreon, got a Facebook, got an Instagram, got a Twitter. We're everywhere on the internet. Make sure to check us out. This is Sid Survival God, Chuck and Deuces.